this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Every day, every day, every day, in every way, I'm gonna let my little light shine. friends it's good to see you at church again today are you guys ready to learn some more from the big God story today well I am I love learning from the Bible and who else loves to learn from the Bible yes our friend Hamilton let's call him together you guys ready to count to three one two three Hamilton oh he came up before I even hardly called him how are you today Hamilton Oh, he says he's really, really happy. And I see you brought something with you again today. Can everybody see what this is? This is a CD, hey? There's music that plays on there. Why is, did you bring that today? Oh, oh Hamilton has something to say. Oh, he says it's a clue to the big God story again today. Well, I guess we're going to have to do our story to find out, hey, Hamilton? All right, let's sing our song, everybody. 
Now it's time to hear God's word, hear God's word, hear God's word. Now it's time to hear God's word. So let's look in the Bible. Great job. Okay, Hamilton, you can take a seat and let's get started. We're going to start off. I'm going to ask you a couple questions today, friends. So who made you, everybody? Who made you? That's right. God did. did. So does God love you? Yes, he does. God will always love you all the days of your life. So how does love make you feel? Yeah, so it makes us feel happy. Maybe it makes us feel safe. And how can we tell God that we love him? Well, we're going to talk about that right now. So one way to tell God that we love him is to use our words. That's right. So if you'd like to use your words to tell God that you love him, you can shout it out um, to him. So I'm going to count to three and then you guys shout out, God, I love you. Okay. So maybe if someone's sleeping in your house, don't say it too loud. But if everybody's awake, you guys go for it. Okay. Here we go. One, two, three. God, I love you. Good job, you guys. When we tell God that we love him, we worship him. So worship is kind of a big word. When we love God, that's worship. When we say thank you to God for all of the things he's made, like our moms and our dads or the sun or the moon and all of the animals and everything else that we love, are we worshiping God, you guys? Yes, we are. So friends, we can cheer and shout praises to God. So I'm going to tell you a verse from the Bible and then we're going to do that, okay? So in Psalm 98 verse 4, it says, shout for joy to the Lord. So right in the Bible, it's telling us that we should shout our praises to God. Are you guys ready? So if you're on sitting down on your couches, stand up. And then right now, can you name something that God has made that you love? So choose something like you love to, uh, dogs or you love trees or you love slugs. All right. So with your loudest voices, let's thank God for something. So we're going to say, thank you, God, for, and then you're going to say the thing that you're really thankful for. So I'm going to say, thank you, God, for my kids, because I'm really thankful for my boys. Okay, ready? Thank you, God, for my boys. And what did you guys put in there? Yeah, that's awesome, you guys. So friends, is God good? Yes, he is. God is always good. God's word tells us that God is so good that if we don't praise him, guess what? The rocks will shout out praises to God. That's kind of a funny idea, but it's saying that the creation that God has made even knows that there, that God needs to be praised, right? So we're going to worship God for being so good. So, oh, just a minute. Hamilton's popping up and down again. What's going on? Oh, he says that's why he brought the CD. Because we can worship God with music. That's one of the ways we can worship God. Um, so that was your clue. Hey, Hamilton? Yeah, Hamilton loves to worship God when he listens to music. So in Psalm 92, um, 95 verse 2, it says, Let us come before him with thanksgiving and extol him him with music and song. So this means we need to thank God for everything he's made and always give him lots of praise by singing to him. So do you guys like to dance and sing? Yeah, I know I do. And I know I mostly like to do it when it's to God because he deserves our praise. Our God is always good and it makes us want to jump and dance and sing. So we're going to go to a song right now and I I want you guys just to dance and sing and praise our God. And then after the song, I will be back and I will speak a blessing over you and pray with you. So I'll see you in a minute. My God is strong. He'll do anything big or small. Nothing is impossible.
Hey, welcome back, you guys. Did you have fun worshiping our God, dancing and singing to him at home? I hope you put your whole heart and all your energy into it. All right, let's, um, I'm going to speak a blessing over you now, okay? All right, cup your hands like we always do. Good job. Children, may you always remember that you are made to worship God. So in Psalm 95, verse 6, it says, Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord, our Maker. So let's pray right now. Everybody close your eyes. Ready? Jesus, we thank you that you love us and you are worthy of our praise and our worship. And Jesus, you have put that in our hearts. We want to praise you and worship you. So I just pray that every child watching this today would remember to worship you this week, that they would sing out their praises to you and that they would just show their love to you, Jesus. Help them to know that you are with them every minute and you love them every minute of their day. In Jesus' name, amen. Bye, everybody. I'll see you next week. Before even time began, my life was in His hands. He knows my name. He knows my every thought. He sees each tear that falls and tears. Peace.